my name is Addison Patrick for BJHS. The topic of school dress codes has been a controversial subject recently. Some argue that it sets students up to dress properly in the future, while others say that it limits student expression. In 1969, the first school dress code law was passed by the Supreme Court during the case Tinker v. Des Moines School District. The case involved several high school students wearing black armbands to protest the Vietnam War. In the end, the court decided that schools can enforce things like dress codes if what they are wearing is disruptive to the learning environment or to the rights of others. Today, most states have laws that allow the school board to set up their own dress code rules to promote a safe and disciplined learning environment to prevent interference with schoolwork and to encourage uniformity in student clothing. However, if it limits student expression simply because an administrator doesn't like it, that is generally not permitted. It allows students to pay more attention to their schoolwork than what others are wearing. If the learning environment is structured to where students are paying more attention to their work, there is a fewer chance of seeing a visual socioeconomic difference in status. It can reduce the amount of teasing that can occur in the classroom. When student dress codes were put in effect in New York City, 88% of parents said that there was less teasing in the classroom because the dress code promoted equality throughout the students. Dress codes can allow self-expression in a positive way that is appropriate for the environment. This can create a sense of community within a school. With this, there are no artificial boundaries like what clothing you're wearing, that can make it easier to make friends. It can reduce the amount of social conflict and peer pressure associated with clothing. If students are wearing similar clothing, then students can't compare their clothing to others. Studies show that with dress codes, there are less certain behaviors shown like violence and promiscuity. In dress codes, there are rules against wearing clothing with inappropriate meanings. By doing this, it makes the school environment more positive. Having a school dress code rather than wearing a uniform still allows students to pick what they want to wear each day, leaving them a sense of self-expression, while still making sure what they wear is appropriate for school. Dress codes teach students the importance of respectable appearance, which leaves them a positive impact to their self-respect and self-esteem. By having specific items we can and can't wear, this can sometimes be more expensive. For families who have financial troubles, this can be a burden. If we're having to buy new clothes every year, the price can pile up and it can be very expensive. Even though teasing can decrease, students will still find a way to differentiate themselves from one another. Even if they aren't wearing branded clothing, students will still figure out whose family spends more money on items than others. Just by wearing a specific shoe brand, it can, there is enough socioeconomic difference for there to be a teasing issue. Having a school dress code may lessen the problem, but it will never 100% get rid of it. By telling students what they can and can't wear, it will limit their creativity through clothing. It can sometimes go against freedom of expression. Dress codes can be enforced punitively, indiscriminately, or to the bias of an administrator. A girl once wore a t-shirt that said, why be racist, sexist, homophobic, or transphobic when you could just be quiet? The teacher reportedly claimed that the text was offensive. A high school girl was given an in-school suspension for wearing torn clothing, and when confronted, the staff told her mother that she needed to think about the guys in her class and their hormones while choosing her wardrobe. Then there is the high school principal in South Carolina that told girls that they couldn't wear leggings unless they were a size zero or a size two. When you see situations like this, it can cause students to think they don't have a voice, that they can't pick out something as simple as their clothing, or they can start thinking badly of their own body. 